Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Awesome Tubies. My name is David and today I have a special unboxing. So I got a shipment of a box. I didn't know at first, but when I open it, boom, surprise. So yeah, <clears throat> here's the box and let's open up. And it is a new iPhone 15 Pro Max. So yeah. I ordered a long time ago, but I forgot about it and I put the box somewhere. Now I found the box. So yeah, <clears throat> so you can see this is the new iPhone 15, but it doesn't say 15 Pro Max. Outside of the box it says iPhone and it's a pretty uh, normal white typical Apple iPhone box. And right here it says iPhone Pro Max and designed by Apple in California. So yeah, you can see right there. And it doesn't say the size, did it? Okay, the size right here. So if we go up a little bit. It's a 256 white titanium. So yeah, <clears throat> let's open up and see what's inside the box. So before Apple it has the plastic now and try to end plastic now and try to go more cleaner look and uh, yeah they get rid of the plastic now so yeah as you can see a lot of companies are getting rid of plastic and they go with paper instead like paper boxes and try to do everything in a smaller size so let's open up and uh, yeah no more plastics so let's open up bam this is the iPhone. All right, guys. So the box is pretty clean. You can see, and this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And let's open up. It looks freaking clean. Ooh, feels good too. So I can feel like the it's quality metal now, and the edges is more rounded. Not as round as the 11, but um, it's. A lot better than the previous 12, 13, and 14. And yeah, and what else is in the box? So you get a USB Type C now to charge your phone and sync your phone. And this thing is braided, so that's pretty cool because all my old iPhone um, cord are frayed, you know, so and cracked. So I think this is a good start. The Apple changed this thing to something new. And this thing is about, what, three feet long, like a meter. And it's pretty good quality compared to my old lightning cable, which is thinner. And I'm tired of the lightning cable. I think this is so much better. So I could also like charge my other Samsung phones. And I want to see what's in here. Get the Apple sticker. And you know, no longer need a physical SIM in this one, so you can activate only eSIM if you buy it in the United States. So if I have T Mobile, then I have to call T Mobile. If you have ATT, you have to call ATT to activate your phone. And that's about it inside the box. No charging brick. So you have to spend another, what, 20 bucks to get a charging brick? And yeah, the box is pretty slim. And this is the thing that go on top of your phone earlier. Put everything inside the box and put that aside. And let's turn on the phone, see how it looks like. You can see the titanium color is pretty nice. You see the USB type C charging cable. The screws right here, and I think there's a speaker on the bottom. Volume rocker, and this thing is a button, but you can hold for the ring. So, okay, now it's just turn on, and I think just have to set it up like this. So, if you have your old iPhone next to you, it's gonna say something like this set up new iPhone. That's pretty cool. So you have a old iPhone next to you, 
you're gonna say something like set up new iPhone so you just have to put your Apple ID and I just go English I just need gonna set it up so you guys know how to do it it's pretty simple so I'm in the United States so you want to do the default medium or large depend how big font and size you want I just go with the default and go continue and just do set up without another device Now you're gonna put on your Wi-Fi information. So if you want, you could like set it up with your old iPhone and it'll sync everything over. So I just put in my Wi-Fi information. And it says, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. So it's gonna take a while. So it's an SOS mode. And right now it's a like data and privacy. You can learn more or continue. And set up your iPhone. So you can set up your phone for yourself or your child or in the family. So I just set up for myself. And you can do a face ID. I'm gonna do that later. And you can do a setup passcode. You can do that or you can do that later. It doesn't matter. So you go passcode option and say don't use passcode. Then to skip that part. And you want to transfer your apps from your other phone. So you could do it from Mac or PC or an Android or another iPhone or from the iCloud. I think most people would do it from like their other phones. Or you don't have to transfer anything. So now, you, if you don't have an Apple ID, you're gonna need to set one up or create one. So, you can put forgotten Apple or don't have an Apple ID. And you can just create a free account, and that's pretty cool. Or set up later in settings. So I'm just gonna don't use right now. And just agree to all the stuff they put up here and update your iPhone automatically. Just go continue or only download automatically. So I'm just going to continue. iMessage and I FaceTime continue. Set up enable. I just do disable for now. And set up cellular transfer from a nearby iPhone. So you can do that or you can do something else. I'll just do setup later. Skip setup eSIM. And for Siri, you can do setup Siri or you can do that later. And screen time report, set up later in, in iPhone anal <clears throat> analytics. Do that later. And just go continue. So you can pick light, uh, dark, or auto. I usually like light. And there's a silent mode. And the action button, this is the new action button from iPhone. So you can set it up as an action button or you can do a sign in on and off. Depends on how you want it. Or you can do a action button to turn on camera or turn on flashlight or just add for your favorite iPhone feature. I just do not now. <clears throat> Emergency SOS, I just do continue. And right now swipe up to get started. So bam, everything's set up. But you need to set up your eSIM later. So I'm gonna do it later. So right now I just wanna show you guys the iPhone and how it looks like when you set it up. And right now it's pretty good. It looks, the color is really good. And I like the little island right there where the camera is. So yeah, let's do some camera. And they have the portrait mode. You can do that. Turn on location. I'll just do that later. So continue. So <clears throat> you can do that. And look at this little thing and take pictures. See what's the detail on this thing. And let's look at the picture. See that? You can see the detail on the Batman knife. That looks pretty cool, right? Let's take another one. <laughs> so 
it's got an iPhone box. You can go a closer look. You can see all, pretty much all the detail in the box. See that? Little grain of detail. That's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna set this one up and I'll sync to my other old iPhone and let's see how it looks like or how long it'll take. I'll be back. All right, guys, it's been months since I transferred to this iPhone Pro Max and I've been using it. Uh, it's pretty good, very snappy, um, very quick. Um, the monitor or the screen is pretty good. So yeah, um, this is what you should expect from iPhones. Uh, the, some of the things I don't like is if you don't use it with a case or something, it's going to rock like crazy. Um, the camera bump is super huge. So not only there's a bump on the camera, but the lens will have a little bit more of a bump on there. So yeah, you're going to feel it. So when you put on your case, it's going to make the phone really thick. I like how it is like this, no case, phone case whatsoever, and uh, yeah, the metal, titanium, uh, fits your hand pretty well, not sharp like the 12, 13, and 14, but yeah, um, the 16 gonna come out soon, about in a month, and uh, I don't know why people are gonna get the 15 unless your carrier is offering for free or with steep discount. That's when it's the best to get the phone because some, most of the iPhones, um, when they launch the new one, the old one looks pretty much the same as the new one. So, yeah, so that's why some people try to save money and they stick with the old iPhone or the previous gen or the one that, you know, before the 16, which is the 15. So, that's why people get those phones because they look the same and it's cheaper. And yeah, um, do you always have to get the newest and the greatest? I don't think so. So yeah, and the speaker and everything on this thing is great too. I love the USB Type-C because they switch over from lightning port. So yeah, this is the phone. I think it's one of my favorite iPhone since the switch. So yeah. All right, thank you so much for watching my video and my unboxing and my setup. And I hope you like it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.